So a typical question that I get asked a lot about brain directories is what's possible? Uh, what's possible compared to maybe WordPress, uh, Shopify, Wix, eDirectory.com, Wow, Apricot, others, even Joomla, or Drupal. Um, and it's the the thing, the important thing is this. Uh, there's two, um, I would say, variables that you got to take into consideration. If you test other platforms and you what they offer you is enough for the concept that you have for the online business, then just stay with them. That's awesome. But if it's not, which is most of the cases where you actually need to adapt and change your uh, you know, the business logic, the design changes, how members are managed, how the information gets to them and how you notify them and so on. The services and the products that you want want to offer them. Okay. So normally over time or even in the beginning, you want to customize the platform to your members liking to, to make your uh, visitors like the site and potentially join the site, generating you revenue over time. So, on brain directories, it's not that there's a lot of differences or different points. It's just that the ones that are different are super huge. The only one that I'm going to be talking about here is the access to the real access, actually, to being able to customize the site to whatever you want, to add to it whatever you want. And, and it's up to you and your imagination or the developers that you have in the in working with you. Uh, to where you can get this, uh, your site or the ideas, the concepts that you want to apply uh, on the site to. So compared to, for example, eDirectory.com, on brain directories, there's no BS. They don't tell you uh, you're limited to this or that. Uh, you actually are able to customize a lot by default using the, the tools that BD gives you in the back end like the design settings and the general settings, uh, features for the membership levels, features for the actual features, what they call the, um, the, the edit post settings options. And that's just some of them. There's lead options that you can customize, email options. So there's, there's more or less, maybe more than a thousand options that you can customize in, in general on BD, okay? At that level, we're still more or less the same, maybe a, a little bit better than platforms like eDirectory, uh, Wild Apricot, and others, okay? But then BD takes it a, a step further. If you, if the options that they give you by default are not enough, which many times it happens, then you have access to the actual code. You have access, you have permission, you have flexibility from the developer's point of view to customize whatever you want, however you want, from integrating third-party services, okay, to integrating your site to a third-party server so that that server can uh, do whatever you want with it, okay, connect to other uh, services or other servers, um, do your own forum, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously not inside BD because of security issues and all that, but you have the option of creating API or your developers having option of creating an API where it merges the whole BD platform to whatever you want. You at least you have the option. Okay. Internally, there's a lot of visual and backend things that you can do on BD. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple we've done uh, since yesterday. We actually got to 2,000 different uh, brilliant directories owners that we've helped. Uh, either through live meetings or, uh, or as pa partners or single projects or a mix and match of all those. Okay, so congrats. Um, and you're going to get some ideas or things that you're able to do on, on the BD platform. So let me start with this one, for example, so I can start explaining what's happening here. So here's a site that, for example, uh, it shows you the address of somebody, but also a visual representation, uh, like a photo uh, using Google uh, of the same area. That's one idea there. Okay, and you can see more or less some information about there, whatnot. Here's another one where it basically highlights uh, 
the same. It's a visualization technique that is used by the Google Maps to highlight the density and where uh, most of your members or the members of the site are. There's other similar techniques, okay, where they uh, group together. You can see here, for example, 427, uh, 142 something, 7, 55, 33. So it more or less tells you there's this many members in that area. Uh, here's another one. Okay, so you get you get uh, different ideas on how you can do a um, a map. Okay, here's another one where it dynamically changes depending on which members are actually in those states. Or you could have, could have done this by city, okay, by zip code, by whatever you want. It could be geographically uh, uh, dependent of something, and then a, a customization could be done. So it depends on those um, areas, and you can also block other countries and maybe just uh, show the US, Canada, UK, Australia, whatever you want, okay? Um, here's another one where, for example, um, you have a legend which tells you the colors of the type of events. If you actually click on, a, on an event, you get a pop-up which highlights an image, it tells you a couple of things about the, 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 the event, okay? Um, and it's it's a much better version of the of the calendar. Um, here's an old one. Um, hopefully you can actually see the images. This was wow, like five six years ago. A couple of the things that we actually offer. So they were from real estate themes that we offered to a chat system. Um, to custom landing pages, to enhanced text headers that you might see here, to feature carousels that we actually, the sliders that you, you show on the on the homepage or could be shown on a specific feature and so on. Uh, a more smart scrolling effect so it doesn't load all the members. So once you get to a search results page, it loads fast and if they keep on scrolling down, similar to Facebook or, or Twitter, it starts loading the, the rest of them without clicking any button, without doing anything else. Um, a dynamic menu that could change depending on where they came from, um, if they're logged in, et cetera, et cetera. Like a free trial manager that could move people from one membership level to the other one. They could get uh, discounts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, a cropping tool, in it, which, which is now called the image processing uh, service that we offer. So you get, for example, you upload an image. And the image name is automatically changed to the name of the article or the post that you're creating. If the article doesn't have a post, then it uses the name of the user. And if for some weird reason the user doesn't have a name, then it uses the name of the site. So it's more SEO friendly automatically. It also automatically changes the format to WebP to get a better SEO ranking. There's a lot of services that we offer that automatically try to enhance your SEO so you don't have to worry about that. And there's more, okay? There's uh, a member cover here and a complete redesign of the, um, the contact details and listing details form, basically all the forms for all the members. So it looks more neat and, and friendly. Um, okay, here's a layout, for example, for a, for a public profile. You can get some ideas here, like the, the logo or the profile image of the member. Some information here, like a gallery that represents the member, the products or services that they offer, some information, additional information about the member. Okay. Here's one where it's more like a Facebook kind of thing. Actually, on this side, we actually have a Facebook theme and we have an Instagram theme. It depends on the type of members that, um, or the way that you want to treat your members. And it's similar to Facebook where you click here and you can uh, friend them and, see their profile and so on, okay? Here's another one. It just, you know, it gives you uh, uh, some information about the, the specific type of post that you're offering in a specific way. You can change the layout however you want. This same one, for example, would change to, let me see if I can find it, something like this. So you can see here that the whole thing changed depending on the post. Um, for example, this one has eight images. You click on this and then a, a pop-up shows, a friendly one where you can drag the images around. Uh, you can zoom in, 
Uh, you can upload documents about this post. For example, they're selling a, a property so that people can visually see some documents here in a nice little format. Here they can see additional information that you wanted to format in this specific way. Nearby locations will actually tell you if there's schools nearby, pharmacy, hospitals, whatever this specific member needs close to them. Okay. Um, let me just start with the numbers here. So this is like a job site, the top recruiters. You can divide that this by jobs by sector. You click there, you can see the subcategories. Uh, if you go to the location, you see the location types, ideas. So you can click there and you can go directly to the search results. Here's another idea on how some of the top jobs show and give you a layout of how it looks. Uh, articles might look like this. You can see they highlight a specific word in blue and then rest in black, uh, like a search results specializing in jobs or specializing in property. So it's specializing in whatever you want it to, to be specialized in. Okay. We've done many, many search engines completely uh, dedicated to a specific type of uh, way of thinking for your visitors, for your type of uh, business site. So here you can see, you know, an idea of the layout. Okay. If you hover something, actually tells you, okay, there's this how many these many jobs in these specific categories and subcategories. Okay. Here's the layout of the job. They can apply. They can go go through a uh, recruiting process. You know, the interview with a the calendar. Then they they can you know, you can see that their CV before interviewing them. They can get notified when when the status of their whole um, uh, applying for a job process. Uh, is done and so on. Here's like a one where if they actually create their own account, they're able to save uh, searches, they're able to save um, uh, courses and whatever. So that once those change, they actually get a notification about that course or about that job or, or about a search where there's no jobs yet. But once once a job actually uh, is added for that particular type of profession and that particular type of location, they get a notification telling them that, hey, there's something new here for you. Uh, here's an idea for another um, dashboard for a member. In this specific case, it's similar to the jobs one. Here's one for the articles. Okay, it tells you how, how many, how much, how long, for example, it's gonna take you to read the, the article. Uh, some of the categories, which by the way, if you click on them, it doesn't reload the page, it's just live. It just filters them in real time. Um, this is the same one. So I left this one's open because um, we've done sites that literally look like this. Okay, this is Yelp. And you can see, you can, what I'm trying to say with this is you can grab ideas, pieces of a site as ideas and use them on your site. Okay, that, that's one. We've also done Zillow like or Realtor or Trulia sites where for example, you know, they, they actually look like it's similar to this. And when you search, you actually get a map that actually refreshes in real time. So like if I do this, then the, the, the properties that show here are, are only the ones that are, you're actually being able to visually see here. You also get this little pop up you can see on the map. Like if you highlight over a, a property, it actually highlights the map. Okay. And you do have this and more and even more. Okay. Again, everything in real time. These type of pages are called SPA, single page applications, that we turn BD into. Because BD gives us the ability, the flexibility, and the access to actually customize the pages, the site, to whatever we want. From the search engine, to the homepage, to how features show, to how the dashboard of the member shows, to how the public profile of the member shows, to how you can join somebody, and they see that a friendly joining process or a, uh, getting a quote process and so on. Uh, there's other sites like a news kind of idea where we also gather ideas from here so you can see how the, the posts look, okay? So it's this, the, the same idea, the same concept. Don't limit yourself to what others have been doing on BD. Just know that BD has always given everybody um, the power and at least the option to customize the site to whatever you want. It's up to you, your creativity, 
uh, your 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 imagination to where you want to get your site to. Okay, so that's this is an important question that I hope that after you see this video, you know that you're not tied to a box. In in I would say 99% of the cases that I've talked to, a really really small box. Just open the box, look around, and see that there's a lot of things that you can offer, not just in terms of visual changes on the site, but also functionality. Okay, because at least at least in our case, everybody's an engineer. We've specialized in database administration, security, front end development, back end development, API creations, third party integrations, and, and so on. The, the smallest one that works with us has 12 years of experience. I have right now 21 years of experience in the in the area. So everybody here, you basically get a team of serious professional developers to make your, let, let's do some marketing here, to make your dreams come true. But the point being that you are able to do whatever you want with your site, however you want, and it's very important for you to not limit yourself to, to just what other sites look like. Because that, that trust me, that, that will get you in like a little, little box where you would think that that's all that you can do in BD. BD is weird because it gives you the possibility to customize them. Okay? That's not something, and can vouch that that's, that's not something that, for example, eDirectory offers. They could say something, but it's not. This is not false advertising. BD is not paying me for this. It's me, in my experience as a developer, at least working for eDirectory owners for the past uh, four years. That's the experience. Um, and on BD, it's it's literally the opposite. All other platforms, because I've tested something like 12, 13 different platforms, has similar issues. Uh, from big commerce, if anybody has used big commerce, you'll know the limit, the huge limitations as a developer that you have and as the owner that you're tied to. Can't, can't. Uh, there's not that much flexibility, and there's others, okay. But it's something that you need to take into account when you're dealing with um, the the freedom, especially the freedom of developing the site however you want to. So I hope this video helps you a lot in decision making and also for the uh, BD owners that already exist, it helps you in knowing that there's a lot more out there that's possible on the BD platform.